All right, so on your screen, you can see here that there's like two other things that's happening, two, two identities that are happening. Um, these were quotient identities, and these are um, ones I'm assuming that you've had in Math 3, which I'm not sure, but I think you have. But just know here, um, whenever we have sine over cosine, every, whenever they put sine over cosine, that is your tangent. Um, whenever you have um, cosine over sine, that is also tangent. So this comes from our unit circle. So again, last year you guys learned, should have, you did learn about the unit circle. I know about that. I know you have. Now in our unit circle here, we had, uh oh, uh oh. We had, I supposed to go through the center. It's not going through the center. Sorry about that, guys. I'll scoot over just a little bit. It should be like right. Mm, no. Mm -mm. I might have had it right the first time. Something like that, guys. Something like that. All right. So with it, we know this is a unit circle. So that means each one of these lines right here are um, one. It's a unit going all the way around. All the way around there. All right. So with it, though. You had a right, we talked about right triangle trig last year. Right, and with our right triangles, one thing that we talked about before was um, our labeling. it. So we said here that our X was equal to cosine. Our Y was equal to um, sine. So here, our x-axis is down here, this line right here. So this part was our cosine. That's your x. Or let's say, sorry, when we did this part, we talked about theta. The angle theta. Remember, theta is the same thing as saying x, but it's just the theta symbol. So it's like a circle and then a curly Q at the end. Again, a circle with a curly Q. <laughs> circle with a curly Q. All right, so with that, you had cosine there. You had sine here, and we're talking about a right triangle, and there was an understood one right there as our um, as our uh, hypotenuse. When it comes to our tangent here, to figure out where this came from, tan is remember opposite of adjacent, so opposite of a um, the yeah, opposite of adjacent. Yes, yes, I was right. Ha. So if I'm looking at this angle right here, we're looking at opposite of adjacent. Our opposite side's right here. This is opposite. Our adjacent side is down here. So we're talking about opposite over adjacent is our um, tangent. So that meant that this was sine theta over cosine theta. Now with this, don't get confused about like, wait, you have x's up there instead of thetas. And like, I'm confused when the world is all, don't be confused. It's the same thing. Theta and X are the exact same thing. So don't confuse on that one. All right, so again, this is review of what you learned last year and everything of that sort. So this year, like we're just hitting that and going back over it. Um, hopefully you guys remember this from last year, but if you don't, it's okay. The thing you have to remember is just your identities and use the ad identities. All right, so now cotangent, remember it's the flip of that, the reciprocal of that. So if, if tang cotangent is, uh, actually, theta. So cotangent theta, sorry, is the reciprocal of that, flipping that. So that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over um opposite, sorry. Whew. Adjacent over opposite. Whew. All right, so that means that we're dealing with adjacent side, which is cosine, and our um opposite side, which is sine. All right, so with this, you can be like, Mr. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, the videos don't help me. Um, really, the biggest part is if you don't remember from last year, this part right here is probably confusing. And we don't have lot, enough time to actually go back and review everything that's from this part. So I'm just hitting the key parts of it. So with this part, if this is confusing to you, the thing that you need to remember is this and this. If you don't understand where that came from, that's perfectly fine. What you have to understand, uh, what you have to get, it's those identities right there. So with this, make sure that you guys have those identities ready to go and everything. All right, so what we're going to do next is actually go ahead and use what we have here about this unit circle right here and the sine and cosine and all that great stuff. And we're going to make up our Pythagorean identities, which is the second one that you have to know for this course.
right, so we're going to do that.